Hey there, Nick from Cometa Camera here at Photo Plus 2017 in New York. Once again, I'm here with Eldine from Sony, and we are talking about some of the RX series now, yep. in particular the RX10 Mark IV, which is relatively new, only came out a little while ago. We're still, we're still hoping for more inventory because people are really, um, they're really clamoring for this camera. Yeah, this is an incredible camera, and it's a step up to our RX lineup. Uh, and like you say, it was only, I think about a month ago or less that we actually announced this camera. We've kind of been on a roll lately with a lot of announcements, RX0, RX10, you know, A7R2, et cetera, et cetera, right, goes on. So um, basically it's the next evolution in the one-inch sensor, uh, all-in-one um, uh, ultra telephoto zoom lens camera. So as you know, it started off with the uh, phenomenal uh, one-inch RX100 cameras, and then we came out with the RX10, and the original ones were 24 to 70, uh, sorry, 24 to 200 F2.8, and then we came out with the um, RX10 Mark III, which had a 24 to 600 millimeter lens, which is absolutely incredible. Huge, huge zoom. Now what's really uh, important with the step up to the RX10 uh, Mark IV is we've utilized the sensor out of the RX100 Mark V. And the big step up in the RX100 Mark V was phase detection on a one inch size sensor in a fixed lens camera. So the number one request that we were getting from RX10 Mark III users was better autofocus. So essentially the camera comes to you with most of the same features as the RX10 uh, Mark III, but with the ultra-fast phase detection autofocus system that we find in the 100 Mark V. Okay, so very impressive, and people are going to be really excited about these upgrades. I mean, we've had pre-orders coming in for this, and we can't get them out the door fast enough. So people are really in love with this camera, especially with its video capabilities. Yeah, we can almost not make them fast enough, to be honest with you. Yeah, so like all our cameras, we actually feature most of our uh, um, features and specs that carry across the entire line. And that goes from the RX series and the Cybershot to the Alpha series and even our Handycam series. So they all shoot XAVCS as well as MP4 video and AVC HD for uh, HD footage. Now the XAVCS footage allows us to go up to 120 frames per second in HD as well as shoot 4K. This is exactly the same as what you're going to find on all our cameras from the smallest one to our largest one. This allows you to have a workflow whether you're going to be putting in you know, shooting in professional cameras, whether you're going to be shooting with this, you know, Pro Alpha cameras, or whether you're going to be shooting with even the RX100 Mark V, and you want to cross footage from the different camera to camera. So it's still the same 4K footage. It has S-Log in the camera as well. Um, the Mark uh, 1 and 2 have uh, built-in ND filters. Because of the length of this lens, it does not have the built-in ND filters. So, but it does have all the other features for HD. Uncompressed linear PCM audio, uncompressed 4K output via the HD, and again, with a phase detection autofocus on the sensor, that works in both stills and video. So you can do uh, autofocus tracking with exposure and a AF while shooting videos or shooting stills. Now, speaking of video, we also have another entry to the RX series, the new RX Zero. Now, this one came out just a couple months ago, and it's not a still camera necessarily. It's not really an action camera or a camcorder. It's kind of a, I don't really know what to call it, but it's very, it's very flexible, and it can be used by independent filmmakers. You can set up a whole bunch of them. They sync together. It's a, a pretty impressive product, and especially what's impressive about it is the size of it. I mean, it is just ridiculously small, and I don't know if we've got this in frame, but comparing that to an RX100, it is just, it's, it's go ahead and reveal it. <laughs> so here's the RX100, which as you can see is a tiny camera. Every professional I know, regardless of what brand they shoot, pretty much has an RX100. This is the, the de facto standard of keep I've got camera, one. Keep my camera in my pocket all the time. Yep. We've taken everything out of this camera except for the lens and we shoved it into something that big. So this is not an action cam at all. We have our uh, Sony action cam uh, in that series to compete against other action camera type models. This is what we call an ultra compact production video camera. All right, so this is really to be in the lineup uh, we see a lot of uh, Hollywood producers gravitating towards this for multiple different things. You can hide this camera into you know, pretty much anything. You, you can have this coming out of a shoe if you want, it's so tiny. So the camera can literally go anywhere because of its size. It's also quite crush proof. I think it's uh, rated at over 200 pounds for crushing. It's waterproof down to, I believe, something like, uh, I can't remember the spec exactly, but it's over 100 feet. So there's a lot of different things built into the camera just to make it completely durable for production workflow in any circumstance. So we can see this being used as a crash cam, 
as well as many other applications that need a small lightweight, you know, basically if you want to get a higher production quality, because remember this is the one inch sensor out of our RX line, so an extremely large sensor, extremely good quality, and then you can put this into, you know, UAVs or whatever it is. The next thing is what you were mentioning is multi-camera control. So that, this is really where the camera shines, where you put it into a multiple camera shoot. So whether it's VR, whether it's bullet time, uh, whether you just need multi-cameras in different angles, and that's really where the camera shines is, is the, the use in a multi-camera setup. Yeah, it really is impressive. I saw some of the uh, sample footage that was done with uh, acrobats and people like that, and the amount of angles that you were able to get all in, let's say if you all did this in one take and you could get 10 different angles because you've got 10 different of these cameras and they're so unobtrusive yep. that they can be used in almost any location and it doesn't really affect the people who are on stage or uh, in a scene or anything like that. So yeah, it really is pretty, we should probably invest in one because we're lugging around in, like an eight year old uh, camera that's still, yeah. it's a little bit bigger than that. Um, but yeah, very cool as well as the um, RX-10, Mark IV, yep. so thank you very much, Eldine. And uh, all this stuff, of course, is available at Cometa Camera.